This is WDSU News at 6. Yeah, I'm going to say I never thought I would be shooting a gun, to be honest. But like I said, I feel like there's got too much stuff going on about like, where I live at in the area. So I just feel like I need to be protected. And some gun store owners say they're seeing a 300% increase in sales. That is a staggering number. And over the past year, gun sales have hit record highs. WDSU investigates Aubrey Killian dug into why there is a run on guns. 65 year old Jim Mari has never owned a gun until now. I'm scared of somebody breaking into my house because of the fact that I want to be able to defend myself and I'm getting older, so <laughs> fighting is not an option anymore. <laughs> not that it ever was. That's personal protection. And 21 year old Sabrina Dubois also making the decision to get a gun. Yeah, I'm gonna say I never thought I would be shooting a gun, to be honest. But like I said, I feel like there's got too much stuff going on about like where I live at in the area. So I just feel like I need to be protected. The FBI data that WDSU investigates found doesn't give the exact number of firearm sales, but it does show a surge and the rise in people looking to purchase one. So to buy a gun from a licensed gun dealer, you need to undergo a background check. In 2019, there were more than 282,000 background checks for retail firearm sales in Louisiana. In 2020, data shows that number shot up to more than 430,000 people. That's an increase of more than 52%. Well, it's important to note that the number of background checks means more gun sales, but also it is important to mention that the number of transactions is likely higher. That's because you can have more than one purchase on one check. You all thought there was a run on toilet paper. You should have seen the run on Glocks. David Ramey is a gun instructor at the Jefferson Gun Outlet on Airline Highway in Jefferson Parish. Why do you think more people are buying guns? Scare, fear. Ramey says his customers are also concerned about gun laws changing, nationwide protests, and a surge in crime. He says COVID and people getting stimulus checks also played a big role. And while Ramey says sales are up 300%, it's tough getting some products. Merchandise that would normally take three days to come in can take as long as six months. And because of that, prices go up. He says a box of ammo that once cost $19.95 could cost you as much as $49.95. And he says with so many new gun owners, more people should get professional training and get in a class. Would you want to see lawmakers have tighter restrictions when it comes to safety courses for someone looking to buy a gun? You know, that that's a hard one to answer. Someone in a house that never had firearms before, um, you know, someone who's moved from California or New York down here, then yes, they should take a basic gun safety class. And first time gun owners like Maury and Dubois encourage anyone looking to buy a gun to take a training class first. But I like to have feel like some type of protection. I don't recommend just walking in off the street, not knowing anything about guns and buying a gun. Take the proper course and before you make a gun purchase, learn the do's and don'ts. Reporting, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. And WDSU investigates found that from January to April of this year, nearly 151,000 background checks have been performed in Louisiana.